thing then you actually died in the freaking transition. Well, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Dokopon. Welcome to Suck My Dick Part 622. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's not getting monetized. Within the 30 seconds, I said, uh, I said the the D word demonstration. Um, I, you know, this episode was on track for getting extreme monetization, but you know, sorry. You know, actually, demonstration that reminded me of something. Uh, of all things, the D word. Uh, <laughs> so I was, uh, so I was streaming two days ago. It feels like it. It feels like it was two years ago, you know? I don't... Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Were you uh -huh. there? Did... I was there. I was there for a little bit. I was there for a little bit, but then I had to get off uh, fairly quickly after I get on. Yeah. Okay. I, I can I can never remember anything anymore, apparently. But as it usually happens, there's one guy that shows up, and we talk for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and we were talking about Pokemon. As you do in a Pokemon stream. Um, mm -hmm. And I was talking about the fact that there is no Tanuki Pokemon. And I don't believe that there is still no Tanuki Pokemon. I don't understand how this has happened. But it has. <laughs> um, but I digress. Um, dude was using... Um, <laughs> was, uh, I think, watching on... Well... Autocorrect was is fun because when he was trying to talk about Tanukis, it uh, autocorrected to Tajikistan, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man!" <laughs> now I, I mean, I I just found that hilarious. Like Tanukis, Tajikistan. Like seriously, autocorrect. What? <laughs> how? Um. Well, you know that's a common mistake. Common mistake. And for all those who don't know, Brennan, what is a tanuki? Because I am <laughs> unfortunately aware. They're not. They're not that cursed. <laughs> they're just. They are little squirrel people who carry around their ball sack. They're raccoons. Raccoon-like. Raccoons, -like. raccoons they, are still rodents. They are. That they aren't. They're large rodents. Eh, I, I, I guess it's subjective. <laughs> the largest rodent is the capybara. Let me tell you some fun facts about the capybara. <laughs> <laughs> Furiously types trying to. Let me let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you some. Brennan, Brennan, let me tell you some facts about the capybara. Okay. Fun, fun Who's facts. this Brennan person? I'm Rylu. Uh, right, right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> Uh, I I know all about the capybara. This is not from Google. This is straight off the Chrome Dome, right? This is straight off the top of my head. They even behave like other rodents. They are the largest rodent in the world, and they behave like rodents. Like they're like uh like rats and squirrels and stuff, where they climb into things and stuff like that. Uh, capybaras are fantastic swimmers. Did you know that? Is that a fun fact for you? Actually, yeah, yeah, I did know that. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't know that. And then uh, they are extremely agile. I mean, I didn't know that. I'm the capybara expert. And they are very agile on land. They are. Uh, they have a unique vocal repertoire. So they sound like... That's what they sound like. That was better than I thought it was going to be. I, I don't actually know if that's what they sound like. I mean, that's exactly what that they, they sound like. I am the source of all capybara information they're highly social animals they like lots of other animals you know so uh and uh they're herbivores they don't eat anything they don't eat any meat so you could have one as a pet it won't eat you mm. now let's get back to talking about what the real matters of the world uh furry porn <laughs> i was about to i was about to I was about ready to tie it in and be like, oh, you're sure you didn't get that information from everybody's, uh, from the most intimate knowledge source ever, E621. But um, that was the last episode, so. 
<laughs> <laughs> that was. Well, what is uh, what's going on in the game right now, Dokupon? I mean, I've been watching it, but it's just kind of the same that's been happening. Well, I'm currently getting my ass handed to me by a robo assassin. I I lost last time. I had the best gear in the game, not quite the best gear in the game, but pretty much. Uh, I lost it. I lost it all except my angel choker. Um, choking alien or choking angels and aliens um, is a very fun pastime. Let me tell you. Um, oh. But um, but you know that's that's a different topic. That's a that's a different episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what's interesting is that uh, Elizabeth um, went from being a uh, an acrobat to a monk, and I don't know why, and it's very strange. <clears throat> Some people just want to go the route of the holy man, Brennan. I mean, Rylu. Well, well, look. <laughs> For one thing, the way of the monk is punching people. <laughs> Which is a very godly and uh, non-sinful act. Well, there is a game called God Hand, and that's as far as that connection goes. But that's uh, that's that that's that spell in D and D. God hand. <laughs> uh, um, what was I? How was I gonna bring that all back to? Oh, did you see the um? Was it Coliseum two point or was it Coliseum three point I can't remember how many Coliseum battles there have been. I think it was two I think it was a few weeks okay. ago. Uh, it was what? a Friday. One of one of one of my episodes. One of my Dokupon episodes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely saw it. <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. To be honest. Well, well. Um, I I had realized. Okay, so the Coliseum. Um, you know, it's every player goes up against each player. Um, at the beginning of every. Uh, fight you can choose uh, who you're going to fight there's also a fifth player um, or a fifth person to fight Camacho who is like I don't know what his stats are but they're like some weird combination of everybody's stats and he's uh -huh. like you know extremely tough and um, the first time uh, the first Colosseum uh I I just focused on Camacho because I'm like, if any if I want to see anybody actually win, um, I died by the way and got my hair changed. Um, <laughs> but um, but I you know I went again I fought Camacho I I beat Camacho because I was like yeah we need to, we need to defeat him if I want to see anybody actually win. Um, true, true. And then Hammond won, but you know that was okay. Um, the second time, uh, Hammond. yeah, the second time, um, I, I meant to do the same thing, but the first one I missed clicked, um, and, well, I just went, uh, <laughs> went downhill from there, but I had counted the amount of deaths or would be deaths because of the fucking acrobat, <laughs> um, <laughs> And also including, like, death blocks and revivals. Um, uh -huh. so, so there was a total of 23 would-be deaths. Jesus. I think 23. That might also be including actual deaths. I'm not 100%. I can't remember. Oh but, like, yeah. But, there's, well. but there were five fighters, one winner. There should have been four deaths. There were 23. Just let that sink in. Just let that yeah. sink in. So I don't know. So I don't know why Elizabeth would give those odds up, but she did. Well, <laughs> so she know, can punch people real good. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice for the greater good. I never ask to punch people in the face. <laughs> I do. Fair enough. 
So none of this stuff is going to be in the episode. 